evaluate x to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 4 plus z to the power of 3, where root of x plus 1 plus root y plus root of z minus 4 equals x plus y plus z over 2. We have a radical equation. Normally, the next step is to simplify the equation by removing the radicals, which in this case means raising both sides of the equation to the power of two. However, in this case, that would be complicated. So we use the substitution method and let root of x plus y equal u root y equal b root of z minus 4 equal w. Equation 1 can be written as the sum of u, b and w which is equal to u squared minus 1 plus b squared plus w squared plus 4 over 2. By rearranging the equation and simplifying, we have 2u plus 2b plus 2w equals u squared plus b squared plus w squared plus 3. Now we rearrange the equation and group the terms by writing terms with the same variable as one group. There is a constant term 3, which we write as 1, 1, and 1 in each of the three groups. So after this rearrangement, u squared minus 2u plus 1 plus b squared minus 2b plus 1 plus w squared minus 2w plus 1 equals 0. Each quadratic form can be written as a perfect square. So u minus 1 all squared plus b minus 1 all squared plus w minus 1 all squared equals 0. The sum of three perfect squares equals 0. So each perfect square must equal 0. So u minus 1 equals 0. b minus 1 equals 0 w minus 1 equals 0. By rearranging these equations, u equals v equals w equals 1. Now, substitute equation 5 in equations 2, 3, 4. We have root of x plus 1 equals 1, root y equals 1, root of z minus 4 equals 1. By rearranging and simplifying 
these equations. X equals zero. Y equals one. Z equals five. Hence, x to the power of five plus y to the power of four plus z cubed can be simplified to a hundred and twenty-six. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for notification of new videos. See you next time.